Hello everybody, I'm Passmore Nope, and welcome back to Paranautical Activity. And we are gonna start this run off with the awesome rocket launcher. One of, I believe, two weapons I've uh, left to go. Sorry, once again, my music is a little loud. I'm gonna turn down my headphones just to make sure uh, it doesn't get picked up. Oh god, I'm already taking three hits. This is starting off just like my, <laughs> my sickle run. Uh, okay, we should be good now, though. Uh, pick up a heart, just be safe. And now this guy shouldn't be any more trouble, but we can't let him get too close to us because the explosion damage on the rockets is uh, a little bigger than what, what it looks like in-game, I think, at least. Like, I'm surprised I didn't get hit there, actually. So right now, um, rocket damage starts out kind of small, to be honest. Um, but it does uh, weapon upgrades... I mean, damage upgrades will affect it. Um, and I say that because I don't I don't know if the grenade launcher actually gets um, affected by damage ups. I, I'm not sure. But uh, the wiki also points out that uh, damage upgrades will affect this. And of course, uh, attack speed upgrades will also affect it. So we are shooting a little faster. And really and truly, uh, I have beaten the game with this weapon once. And that played a major factor in my uh, firing speed. Played a big factor in my win. That was a good shot there. All right, let's get back up to full. Jimbabwe is not known for their big loot drops, but that's okay. Let's see what we got in the shop here. There's a sickle. And the M14, that's the last gun I have to go. Uh, otherwise, this is a pretty terrible shop, really. Uh, I'm still gonna go visit all the uh, rooms here to uh, make sure I have enough money for, you know, shops on other floors that hopefully will pay out a little better. Okay, I'm trying to get two Jimbabwe's with one missile each time I shot. Uh, didn't quite work out there. It's okay. Uh, Gilead goes down. One more Jimbabwe. I gotta remember to aim at the feet. I, I still have a tendency to aim a little high with the uh, rocket launcher. So it's totally not necessary and oftentimes detrimental to your aim. Uh, so let's come through here, the only path we have left to go. And I, I gotta remember, I do have one armor pickup that I left on the floor. Um, I, I, wanna, I want that Jimbabwe to fall, just in case he drops some coins. And man, doesn't look like I'm gonna get any drops unless he gives us something. Is that really a no drop room? It's pretty incredible. <laughs> Fair enough, let's keep going on. Uh, looking for a few more armor drops. I'd like to end the level on a little bit of a higher note. Ooh, he's taking a lot of damage there. It's, it's okay though. Might as well aim right at his crotch, why not? And here's our second armor. Let's just uh, leave that there. And well, okay, cool, got a few more rooms here. This'll be good. Get a little extra money here. I don't know how much damage that's doing to him. Actually, um, Explosions might play a little weird. I've seen a few instances where, uh, you know, I I've shot an explosive barrel with another explosive weapon and it should have killed my target and it didn't. So I, I wonder if explosions can kind of cancel each other out. Like, my rocket explosion kind of overtakes the barrel explosion or vice versa. And so it only does one of the object's damage. Don't know though. No way of testing it either with any uh, sort of certainty. Alright, that is it for the rooms. We have a few armor pieces to pick up, but let's go fight the boss. And it's gonna be Skeleto, which is fine. This weapon is great against him. And his spiders. Make sure we got them all. Looks like they are all gone. Uh, it could be kinda hard to hit him, because he, he does float around kinda quick, actually. Uh, but, should be too hard. He shoots what looks like Gilead's gun, which makes fighting him with that weapon a little difficult. Uh, so I'm trying to keep uh, just a little more mellow during this recording. I uh, had a kind of a late night last night. Matt came over and we recorded episode 9 of Spartan Ops. We wanted to finish it off, but we decided also to uh, Im imbibe, uh, um, you know, a few spirits. And uh, it turns out we did a little too much too fast, um, you know, for our, our old ass selves. And we only recorded episode 9. I really wanted to finish it off, but, uh, oh, man. Let's, uh, let's focus on our aim for a second here. 
Take out Skeleto and his spiders with that one. Are they all gone? They truly, truly are, and we're free to pick up the armor. I am uh, apathetic towards this upgrade. Uh, I don't see it being a big um, influence on this run. Now I am... Okay, never mind. I was about to say, I couldn't remember where one of the pieces of armor was, but I believe that's it. The one I was looking for. I should be able to run across the others. Okay, here's one. I believe there is one more. I don't think it's in here, but I'm just double-checking. Yeah. Keep our speed up and jump on the doors here. Uh, oh, shop has nothing that I'm interested in. Let's see. I swear there was one more, wasn't there? I could be wrong. Um, I think we have one more room to check, though. One of these terminals over here might have it. Oh, okay. Don't get stuck there. There's a heart. And that's it for that one. Let's check in here. A little coin there. Um, yeah, there it is. Alright, four armor. Not bad at all. Um, a fire rate upgrade. So, uh, a decent four, especially considering we had a bad shop. So, we're gonna go on down. Four number two. Yeah, this is the first gun that I beat the game with. Um, and it was uh, decently powerful, uh, mainly thanks, again, to my attack speed, so... Uh, might be looking to repeat that, not sure. Not sure where the game's gonna take us, but uh, got a good start there. Wow, good armor drop. Alright, pick these up. And what we got in here, a few lectors. These are gonna be a little tricky to take out unless they're dummies like that. And then, of course, uh, you know, I'm also a dummy, so I can take damage by shooting the ground in front of me. Alright, let's pick up this gold and move on. Pretty poor in terms of drops, but we have a nice stockpile of, of money. We can afford all the most expensive stuff. There we go. Just kind of bob and weave, bob and weave. Okay. Don't want to squander any more. Music just rocks too much. Gotta turn it down even more. <laughs> I don't think... I, my mic probably isn't picking it up. Um, there we go. Whoop. <laughs> probably should wait till they uh, stop there or just shoot when they're close to the wall. Good enough. Uh, a few paltry uh, coins here. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, baby. Oh, wow. Wow. Great floor. Um... Uh, I certainly want the lightning bolt, and we're definitely going to be able to get the mega bolts, too. That's, oh, that was stupid. All right, let's just move on from that. And uh, just enjoy the fact that we are now uh, shooting and moving faster, which will help a lot. I don't know what the hell I just took a hit on there. There we go, good enough. Still three armor. It's uh, not bad, but I definitely don't want to take any more hits. Let's see who we got in here. Is this going to be... Oh, Iris, cool. Okay, that'll be a great upgrade to have. Uh, anything that makes me, uh, you know, get further from the floor where I can uh, shoot and injure myself is certainly welcome. And, uh, that'll help me dodging enemies in the floors to come. Alright, let's try to have a little truer aim here. Just kind of hard. Gotta account for rocket travel time. And now it might get a little harder. That guy's on the floor, though, and up on the wall there. Oh, oh, hi, how you doing? All right, let's continue to sh focus on these smaller eyes here. You there, you, you getting hit there. Good enough, that will, that'll work. Keep there, boom. Good stuff. No armor drops yet, that's kind of poopy. That's okay. Oh boy, yeah, that's what you want to avoid right there. Um, so you're on the ceiling. You fool. You're vulnerable. Oh, baby, right in the eyeball. All right, there up on top of the wall. Okay, good enough. You're close to the floor. Fantastic. Ah oh, man, bad bad armor drops. But we have enough for a damage up. Good thing about damage ups is uh, my rockets will always only take off one damage. I think. <laughs> as far as I know, that's how damage is calculated to me. I always take just one hit straight. But I can. Uh, Probably by now kill a few enemies and a few less hits, hopefully. Now we're building up some real speed here. Gileads are still three, so never mind. 
Take out those lectors there. I still have my uh, little notepad file up here with all the names in it, just in case I have to reference it. But I think I'm getting it uh, down pretty well. I might, I might still have to uh, get some mini bosses down. And of course, that first mini boss we fought was Russell, named after someone involved in the thing. I, I can't remember. Did I say it was like Kurt Russell? I think. Who is, I don't know, is he an actor? I, I'm, I'm I'm terrible with pop culture, I apologize. Alright, let's pick up our loot here. Still, two armor, which is uh, not good, but I'm also not, haven't taken damage in a, a little while, so that's okay. That was just beautiful. Only one more guy up there, that rocket was terrible. Let's redo that, alright. Gilly is gonna drop us something. Doubt anyone else will, eh, why not, bomb. And that's it, that was the terminal. So wow, we cleared a lot of the floor. Okay, we're just looking for the mini boss, actually. And um, don't think I'm gonna be able to afford spinach, but that's a-okay. I would enjoy having a little more health. It, it'd just make me uh, sleep a little easier at night. Um, oh man, I once again ducked my head out of the way of that one. Um, but you know, spinach will uh, allow us to throw bombs further too, which is an upgrade I really don't care about. So yeah, it looks like we're not going to be able to, oh boy, uh, afford the spinach, which is a-okay. I think a damage up is uh, better for us. This guy is, of course, Big B. B standing for Beholder, which is a type of uh, mythological creature. He apparently is. I can't confirm or deny that. I have no, uh, no knowledge of uh, Beholders. But I feel like I, you think that'd be in like Final Fantasy or something because they always mo have monsters uh, modeled after mythological beasts. And I feel like there are beholders, but I can't remember what they look like. Uh, he's gonna go down anyway. Adderall, uh, that'll be a good addition to our speed now that we've gotten. Um, I have only gotten one speed up. Can't remember. We got a lightning bolt. I think that's all we've gotten as far as speed is concerned. And with that, we're just gonna move on. Uh, I don't. I think I got one armor drop on that floor, did I? Slightly concerning, because uh, in my experience, it... Excuse me, I'm, I'm taking a sip of water and a sip of amp energy drink. The ultimate, oh god, hangover cure. Not really. But, uh, they taste good, so... Works for me. Okay, build some speed, dance around these, uh... Gilead's here. Uh, okay, I see you, Mr. Lecter. And I will get to you shortly. Alright. Okay, there we go. That makes up for last floor. Well, you know, if this trend keeps up, that is. But two is an excellent drop for a room. Oh, jeez. Go away. <laughs> so you should take one more missile, right? No. Yeah, I don't know if the explosion stacks still. Alright, let's kill the electors. He's gonna go down, and so is that one, and we are good. Uh, let's get along the wall here. Should do it. I haven't had many opportunities to uh, kind of use the kind of hula hoop trick, or I don't know what to call it, but you know, where you keep the uh, homing shots orbiting around you, which makes for a little bit of a more interesting dynamic as you complete the room. Oh boy, let's uh, be a little more precise in our jumps. I do not have. Uh, flip-flops, so these rooms are going to be a little tricky, but this gun might actually make it a little easier because I don't have to be so precise with it. Lots of bullets around me. I'd say okay. So I'm, I'm a survivor, man. I'm not going to give up. Alright, so let's get that. We are back at the fo- oh, oh, come on. Four armor. <laughs> I, man, I, I tell you. Alright, e easy enough room. Wait for that guy to pause, and we will stand in the corner while those bullets hit the wall. And pick up a few measly coins. Um, we have not run across one special room. That is crazy. Alright, there we go. So I was trying to take out the uh, Bomba there. The Oh my god, the jumper guys. The kind of look like messed up frogs, if you uh, have a good imagination. They're called Bombas, as in La Bamba. Alright. Woohoo! We are going fast. Alright, let's come into here. 
Still no sign of any kind of special room. That is crazy to me. That guy is chilling by the ceiling, which means he's open to attack. Wow. We're just causing destruction and mayhem. Lots of little dots on the screen, which is uh, causing just the slightest bit of slowdown, I think. That might show up on the video. Oh, this room, this room. Did I get him? The door's open? Yes, I did. <laughs> All right. Okay, we've got the shop, and beyond that, we can see the boss room. All right, what we got? Oh, another chance to get spinach if I care for it. I might actually favor the mystery box over both of these. Um, yeah, fuck, <laughs> okay, well, you know, that's what you get, but a mystery box, it could be anything, it could even be spinach, alright, let's clear out all these rooms and maybe I can um, go back and afford some spinach, maybe, that, that's a big maybe, but I do have both the boss room and the, oh, mini boss room, left, um, so, you know, they'll give me some power-ups of their own, and hopefully that will make up for that terrible pickup. So that's two bad shops, uh, this is assuming I don't get enough money to get anything else, which, you know, is very, very possible. Alright, okay, we have this guy, Blood Moth. This might be a little tricky to handle until I can take out all these ads. Okay, one more over there in the corner. That should do him. There we go. Now this guy is actually kind of fast, but he will pause the fire. But uh, we've got to be careful because he will get up all up in our grill. Uh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna start lassoing these babies in. Do a little extra damage to him, maybe. Let's get behind him here. Nope, I jumped a little too high. There we go. Hit him. There we go. Beautiful. And I think my missile explosions. Oh boy, I think I didn't hit him there. My missile explosions might be able to cancel out his own bullets, uh, which could help. If I time it right, see, I, I think that's what happened there. So just keep a bead on him here. Lead my rockets a little bit. And a few more hits and he's gone. One more hit. Perfect, I think he hit himself there. Works, oh god, damn you. <laughs> oh well, this might make up for it, let's see. Three, three armor, that was, uh, that was pretty good. That's a solid pickup. Um, I would have preferred, you know, an outright upgrade, but uh, I was a little low in armor, so that's okay. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm gonna shoot an extra rocket at the bombas over there. Now they're gone. Alright. That was good. Oh, no. That was pet. poor. This poor. Go. Oh, my God. You gotta be joking. Where are you, man? Most annoying enemy ever. Let's see, did I get the bomba? Yeah, he's not gonna explode on me. I almost took a hit right in the face from Gilead. Oh boy, what's this payout looking like? Almost there. Oh yeah, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and get the spinach. Um, because we don't have a lot of armor and I've taken dumb damage, so I might have to rely on my hearts. Poison bombs, though. You know what I found out actually? Sorry, spinach. <laughs> you're you're being very uh, neglected this run, and I apologize for that. So this guy's gonna be simple. Just aim at his feet. Um, Bisnap proposed that this guy might only go to summoning his chainsaws if he if you get a certain distance away. That doesn't appear to be true. Uh, he wasn't saying it definitively. He he was uh, posing that question. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to stay close. I don't see that being the case. I think it's just a random interval. Let's see. Let's stay kind of close to him for a second here. Oh, he might have something. That could be, could be. I don't know. And now that I have a little further, he's going to shoot at me. That could be the case, actually. But of course, uh, with this gun, I, you know, I'm in my best interest to keep distance. So he's going to go down. Might be able to summon the uh, things one more time here. Anyways, I was saying about poison. Um, so poison damage doesn't seem to stack, but poison time seems to. Because remember in my, uh, my sickle run... I would hit enemies once, and this is a good... Oh, okay, this will kind of make up for uh, the spinach there. Let's go ahead and grab these two hearts. So that gives me two hearts and uh, four armor instead of the five that the text says. Um, but I would hit certain enemies once with the sickle, and the poison damage would go away instantly. But you remember all those hits I got in on the boss, and the poison damage never went away from him. So I, I think poison time stacks. 
uh, which actually makes it quite OP against the final boss. Uh, and I might might tweet uh, at the uh, the programmer uh, Mike Spooter W uh, and see if that's the case, and, and offer my opinion that it makes the final boss incredibly easy because all you have to do is um, spam a few hits on him in the first, you know. Uh, interval of the fight before he summons Skeleto, and, and the poison damage will pretty much take him out as long as you have like a pretty rapid firing weapon. And if you look back on all my videos and, and watch other people's runs where they beat the game and they have poison damage, that's probably the case. They've uh, they probably Let's see, get in there. Ooh, okay, got stuck on the stairs there. Stairs are still a little tricky. That is an update, or that is coming in the update though. The fix for that is coming. All right. So yeah, go back and look, because I'm pretty sure that's what I've done in every fight. Spam the hell out of uh, the final boss with... Ooh, that was close. I almost ran into the platform. With uh, poison damage, and it, uh, and even when I'm fighting the other guys, poison damage is just sitting there doing his thing, taking him out. Um, do I got a guy below me? Are oh, the doors open? No, they're not. Oh, here he is. So I should be able to kill him through the floor there. And I believe I saw an armor drop, did I not? I think it fell down here, though. There's one. One of... Possibly only one. Uh, let's see what we got down here. Oh, two. Awesome. 18 hits. Uh, certainly a, a good number to have. Um, but it's not about what I go into the final boss with, because, you know, my sickle run, I, did I even have armor going into that? And did I even have full life going into that? Probably not. Oh, yeah, that skull is annoying as piss. <laughs> he keeps hitting me every time I enter the room. This room. Take care of him. Jump around these skulls here. There you are. That completely miss you, yes. There we go, that worked. Uh, let's take our time and actually aim at the skull. Uh, how are we gonna do this? Crap! Go away. There we go. Figured it was best to try to hit a, uh, a surface around him than try to hit him directly with a missile. Did take two hits on that room, which is definitely not good. That's not a... Oh, come on, man. Wow, okay, that worked. <laughs> uh, let's get him down on the ground. There we go. Yeah, these guys drop a uh, really good amount of coins. So yeah, if you have the horseshoe and you get to this room, uh, you're going to find yourself quite a bit richer. Let's go ahead and take out the electors here. That should have been both of them. Oh, almost had that. There we go. Perfecto. Got a... Armor pick up there, that is always good. Did I take another hit since getting down to eight? I, apparently so, because I, I swear I picked up armor, but I'm still at eight. All right, let my greedy little self pick up all my coins and let's go into, oh God. <laughs> We're fighting Khan, leader of the Gileads. Uh, don't quote me on that. All right, he's got a Lecter ad there. It's a spam rockets at his ass. Holding down my button. Gonna lasso some shots around him here. See if I can get close and take dumb damage. But he, uh, he took quite a bit from his own shots, I think. Pretty sure that is damaging them, but it's hard to look when you're in the middle of things. Alright, that's a great free upgrade to get. And by free, I mean I had to take a few hits to get it. And of course the time spent fighting the boss. Alright, like you care. Alright, let's... Go on. That was a good damage upgrade to have. Are Gillies down to two hits? Yes, they are. So that is excellent to finally be able to say. Oh, I thought I killed you. Well, now I did. Did that get him? Oh, man. All right. It's still hard to deal with these rooms. I thought this gun would make it a little easier because I wouldn't have to be so precise on my shots. I uh, don't know why I didn't just go ahead and fight the boss, but, uh, you know, whatever. Do what I want. My damn playthrough. Take him up, oh, stupid. All right. So we're looking for the shop. Whoa, we're uh, going a little fast here. Uh, I kind of hesitated to fire because I thought I would hit me as well as him. Oh, okay. I apparently took him out with that rock. Pretty good. All right, there's the shop. Like my loot. Not that the shop is going to offer anything I can't afford, but hey, it could offer two really expensive things and then I might be in trouble. Even though I've already gotten Kiss of Death and... Okay, Blowfish is a no-brainer. Poison damage, very good. Um, I'll go ahead and get the Anchor. Bombbox, not too interested in uh, 
I'm only going to use them uh, for certain situations, but I'm going to go ahead and clear out the rest of the floor here. No, I want the lectors. Kill the lectors. And you. What? Oh, oh there's a Gilead right there. <laughs> Didn't even see you, buddy. There we go. No shots following me. Oh, man, I thought I was at least going uh, to stay on par, but no. I'm down one armor. But the floor's not over, which could be both positive and negative. Oh, that was stupid damage. The skull there. I forget how fast my rocks shoot now, so let's uh, keep them up. Oh, Lecter. I didn't even know there's a Lecter here. Okay, there we go. Let's let this hit something. There we go. All right, thought I saw that fall down there. Okay, coins are sliding down the stairs here. I've already forgotten what was in the shop. Um, oh, that's right, poison damage. And there was a bomb box, but I'm gonna go ahead. I don't, I don't have a big uh, surplus of coins here, so I'm just gonna save them for something uh, potentially better in the floors to come. Oh, might as well pick up these two. All right, let's go finish this hopefully last room and then kill the boss and move on to the Nazi submarine levels. Oh, that was stupid. I, I knew before I even fired that one. All right. There we go. Once again, uh, the skulls are called Scorches. I keep forgetting to uh, name things as I run into them. All right, so here's the boss. Who could it be? Poseidon? Yep, that's kind of what I figured. He's a skinnier target, so it might be a little trickier to hit him. I don't have a whole lot of speed, so... My uh, typical strategy might not work on him. Let's jump into him here, see if we can't explode some fish on him. Not quite working. We're just gonna grab his upgrade. Oh, no we're not, because it's the trident. We're gonna grab his... Oh, God. Let's drop here, get in the damn elevator and go. Go, 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 go. All right. All right, piss off, you got me. <laughs> so we're down three armor for that four. Not a bad uh, hit to take if, if you have to fight Poseidon, though, in all honesty. That's a, uh, not a corner room, but a side room. That is a potential candidate. But we're looking for a door with a colored border on it. Red, blue, or green. Ooh, lots of good directions we could take here. I imagine the monkeys are going to be fairly easy. Uh, as long as we can kind of keep our distance from them. And then now, boom. Yeah, yeah they're going to be a piece of cake. Decent drops here. Gilead's always coming through. A solid enemy that you will find on every single floor in this game. Oh, did I see a colored border through there? I believe I did, and I believe it was the shop. Definitely getting that shop. Okay, go ahead and take care of him. Oh, couldn't quite get the Genghis there. The monkeys are called Genghis. Uh, best to keep your distance from them. They will uh, switch from the floor to the ceiling uh, when they attack you. When they get close, they'll drop down to the floor, though, to... Uh, Go ahead and start doing melee damage. They do it quick, so, uh, you know. Definitely want to keep your distance. Alright, let's go into the shop, see what we got. Um, winged foot, uh, decent upgrade. Gum, uh, couldn't hurt at this point. Okay, this guy is called Oct, I think. Oh no, I just glanced over and I actually, uh, my notepad file is hidden under other windows, so... Hey, man, I've been going all by memory here. That's pretty good. Once again, this spider is uh, very creepy and moves, like, just uh, real enough to be fucking gross. All right, <laughs> there we go. Mystery box. It could be anything. Shield lover. That is fantastic going forward. All right, so we're going to get all three special rooms on this floor. That is a hell no to that room. Uh, let's see. We haven't been checking this side at all. Probably a corner room here. Yep. And this is probably a corner room, too. Yeah. All right, so we're probably going to end up going all the way back to the starting room. Uh, no way to tell if there's a door on the other side there. Uh, same with here, but uh, very possibly. Could be a poopy room. That's a candidate. I'm tempted to actually check here. Oh, God, I hate this setup. go. If I accidentally killed the Genghis, that's good. Boom! I, I predicted his fall there. Both uh, 
and him physically falling and his demise. Alright. Plenty more loot. You never know, I could run into the remaining shops, but I'm not going to be specifically looking for them. I think I'm in-game strong. Here we go, here's the way. That uh, double jump really, really, really helps and just... I mean, come on, I cleared the room in one bound. Go ahead and take care of Gilead. And Genghis. Oh, Gilead is coming back for more. I see at least one shield drop. I thought there was maybe another. Uh, does not look like it. That's okay, though. Back up to seven. Eight and seven. A decent amount. As long as we don't take a lot of damage here. So let's get up to the correct level. This looks like it's going to grow dark. Yep. All right. This guy's a bastard and a half. Possibly the most annoying boss, even more so than Poseidon. Uh, because my trick of uh, getting in his face when he shoots his fish doesn't work. And then, of course, he, he will shoot the blowfish that haunt every player's dreams. And those will also be fixed in the next patch. Or at least they're in the patch notes to be fixed. So let's grab shield, whatever. Uh, health box. Good job. Go. Well, back on six. Uh, what did I start this for on? Five? Five armor, sorry, you know. Mm, refresh myself. Uh, almost went right in there. That would have been a decent room to go into. Um, corner room. Gift shop. Absolutely. Right in Gilead's face. Alright, so what are we going to have on this floor? Bomb bros. Alright, let's... Uh, oh, man, not get trapped in there with Genghis. Oh, come on. Get out of that corner, man. I want to get uh, pigeonholed there. All right, I believe Scorch is the last person. No, nope. good old Lecter. Just let his shots hit somewhere around me. Eight and oh, come on, sneaky bastard! All right, let's pick all this crap up. My God, we wow, good drop. I, don't, I wonder what the uh, bomb bros drop. Probably more prone to dropping bombs, uh, but I wonder what the coin payout is, because that was pretty damn good. All right, uh, spring. Why not? Might as well get some extra bombs, too. Oh, this guy. All right, we should not take any damage. But of course, <gasps> excuse me, we uh, struggled to hit him a little bit. Then again, look how good that poison damage is doing. How does poison damage work? It's obviously, it must be broken on the sickle then, or something. I don't even know. It's only hit him twice. There, it finally went away. Why on the sickle, though? Was it not, uh... I don't know. Uh, poison damage probably gonna go ahead and take care of him. Yep, good enough. Uh, powder keg? Eh, why not? Not crazy about it. I, I really, like, if I get nothing but, like, armor boxes... Oh, of course I'll be happy, that'd be way OP. But if I got a few more armor boxes... Of course, I do remember getting Shield Lover, which, uh, has probably helped. There's two Ganguses there, the gang guy, if you will. Oh, these guys take two rockets to kill, good to know. Go ahead and finish the Scorches off. Alright, let's fight this boss and move on. We're not... This isn't the final boss. No, okay. Banshee. Might be a little difficult, because he's he's fast. He'll get in our face. And he shoots homing bullets. And he's a little skinny, so... Uh, could be hard to hit. Let's go ahead and shoot the wall. But you know, I could just hit the floor. So he hovers right above it. Yeah, that's taking damage. Or that's uh, taking his health away. I wonder... It's not doing more... It might do more damage if I hit him directly. I can't tell. I don't know, I guess the explosion damage would do, uh, reduce, uh, you know, reduce damage. The explosion rate, uh, what am I looking for? The explosion area would do less damage, I guess, is what I'm looking for. Alright, a damage up to, uh, uh, oh, <laughs> slowest moving shot ever. Um, a damage up to possibly be our last upgrade is pretty good. Because now, unless I specifically come across the item room, um, probably not, well, you know, whatever. <laughs> I say that, and here I'm going, not even checking the other rooms. Uh, so we have the Nazi soldiers, die no Noctis, no uh, I can't even remember anymore. Die something, uh, probably a very fitting name. Oh, baby, give me that. Two shields, pretty good, eight and six. I uh, want to keep that up. The show. Alright, here we go, right back to fighting Russell. Um... 
Once again, uh, uh, according to Biznap, if you fight every mini boss in the game, you will end up fighting Russell twice. I guess it just cycles through everybody. Actually, I haven't even noticed. Do you fight them in the same order every time? You might, and I might never notice. That, that would be something. Look at that, spinach making a comeback. <laughs> All right, let's see where we can go from here. Let's finish this one quick. We're at, what, 36 minutes. Um, so if I find the boss room real quick, this could be my fastest run ever. Let's try to do that. None of those are very appealing. That's uh, just a side room. This is a maybe. Let's go ahead and come in here. All right, that should have gotten that lector. If I could jump, if I could jump. Oh, the stupid shots hit me. There we go for the gang guy. All right, make up for that stupid hit I took. And let's take a peek through here. Side room. Don't go too far. Um. Maybe. I gotta check that corner room. It could be it. This room should not be too bad. Especially if they get kind of bunched up together like that. Don't know what that guy was doing running in midair. GG, balls of physics. Alright. Money is of no value to me. Okay, decent room. This uh, has uh, gives us the opportunity to continue a path here. Uh, just took out about eight enemies with that one shot. Not bad, not bad. Uh, we are right. Up a Genghis's ass, uh, a Genghis, no, a uh, Gilead's ass. There we go, got him, kill Scorch. Get the hell out of here. What we got over here? Looking for a red door, red door, people. Corner room. Just going here. Might be a little easier to manage with everyone on this top platform. Go away from the barrel, oh god. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was sweet. <laughs> I thought that shot was going to be good. Alright, let's pick up the armor. And move on. Red door. Uh, this is a good room to move on. That was probably... If I'd have hit that, that would have been a terrible shot to hit. Uh, just like those two were. Very good. Poison damage, once again, not quite as effective on regular enemies as it is on bosses, especially the final boss. Looks like that's all the armor it's gonna drop for us. What do we got through here? Fuck it, gift shot, we're going. That should've taken out like two of them. There's the other one. Okay, fitting that we should get through all the <laughs> what worthless upgrades to get now. All right, do we see a red door? Um, nope, that room is bad. Oh, that stuff is in the lava, so I can't get that. Bad room there. Um, I don't know, see, there could be like a, a door lurking on the other side of those rooms, so. Ah, man. Um, We'll clear out this room, I already think, yep, I'm already not going to make it my fastest time ever. Oh, good thing I picked this one, this was right. I'll take these guys out, take them out, take them out, alright. There we go, oh, sweet, yeah, Magnet is going to make this a little more bearable. And here we go, final boss, let's just do it. Just spam this guy. See, our damage isn't great, but the uh, poison damage will continue to do its work over time. Will help us when Skeleto comes here. So uh, go ahead and stick a few bombs on these guys. Jeez, lots of explosions. Okay. Skeleto should be going down fairly quickly. Are they? Yep, they're gonna get more spiders. That's cool. Okay, there we go. It worked. Back to spamming. Halfway now. And stand here and spam. He might be able to summon the uh, Iris and Ares. That'll be okay. Uh, those guys shouldn't provide too much trouble. We do have sticky bombs. Alright, let's just uh, speak this sticky bomb. Ow. Okay, well, okay. I blew myself a up a little bit there, but we ended up doing that. That was almost our quickest one. I, I think my quickest run is like 39 minutes, so. Close enough. Thank you guys for watching. Next time, we'll finish it up. We'll do it with the... Oh, what do we have left? M14. And then I'll have to go back and do a run in which I pick up the Trident. 
and beat the game with. Also, little pro tip here. You can die in the credits screen, so let's see. I didn't have too much armor, did I? Yeah, it just paints a black screen over you, and there we go. My run is ended. I have died. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.